Don't you leave until you subscribe to Uncle Danny's channel. Rawr. I don't know what the fuck to say, man. They just over there talking that crazy shit to me, and I told them I wasn't coming back. Man, I took fucking five roosters with me. And them motherfuckers gonna come over there and try to handle my shit. They're gonna get your dick batters off my fucking rooster. I don't play that shit. Cause, man, them's fucking good roosters, man. And, uh, I got fucking McLean and Hatch mix, and then I got a fucking, uh, uh, oh my god, uh, a blue and a motherfucker Kelso mix, and I got a motherfucker Roundhead Hatch, and either way, man, I had my fucking, I had $5,000 on them five brushes I took over with me. And them motherfuckers ain't gonna put their hands on my shit. I took my shit on, I went up there to the road, and I had another one going on up there behind dude's house. And I took my motherfucking money out right there, and I spanked some ass. You know, I had a fucking woman over that gray I had, and that's some of this fucking helicopter, what I call it. That motherfucker, man, it fucking, it fucking them up, you know. Took all that money, that's why I side bets to everything, you know. Shit, I racked up, man. I tell you what, I won so much fucking money that I scared them dude even uh, he put up his gun for another rooster betting. Just so I have a gun if I won, you know, that was very well that bet there, so I won, I got that gun and you know, I didn't have no sales in it, but hell, I caught my way out of there, but yeah, we well, fucking, hell, we was fighting them up, man. I mean, them motherfuckers versus fucking, I took two roosters and whooped all theirs. I didn't get three of them out of the box, you know, and they, that was the main bet right there. I fucked them up with two roosters, and they was upset. They coming over here trying to find out my process, you know. My feeding and my keeping shit and that motherfucker ain't finding out that fuck. Shit, no. You know. But see, I got a bloodline. I got a bloodline through, uh, uh, popping up church, you know. You know. And I got my bloodline through him. And, uh, we just, I, and that's just on one side, see. You know, hickory hick over there, I got the other bloodline to him, so I pulled them two together. And see, people don't know it's just their own bloodline. And I put them roosters together, man, they dominate. I mean, I don't waste them, because they have the ones that got killed, and they even throw them away. I asked them, you know, none of roosters. I took them some of them, they clean them. I got to put them up in the freezer, you know what I mean? Fuck, man, he don't that shit, man. Fuck, hey. Fucking kids over there, and motherfuckers. I can't wrote their name on the wall, you know. Jeremiah. What the fuck? Ain't a damn kid around here named Jeremiah. What the fuck's that shit? Is somebody reading the Bible or something? Man. But, either way. Man, every time I go off and do spruce fire, I come back, man, I sometimes have to look around and make sure I walk the right fucking house, man. Hey, these motherfuckers right here, man, I can't drink, because I drink, man, I go in the real house, you know. And I just tell you, I don't know, man, it just, I was gone two weeks one time, I was going down roost fighting. Hey, we was drinking a little bit of whiskey, you know, it was cold coming back, and shit, I got in the bed there and grabbed her on the ass and squeezed a little bit, and, she moved a little bit, and she said, quit. And that's what you mean, quit. She said, you're fucking drunk. I grabbed her a little bit more, and I pulled her a little tighter and grabbed that old ass again. I said, come here. She said, quit, you're fucking drunk. I said, how the hell do you know I'm drunk? She said, because you live next door, Uncle Danny. I said, oh my God. You know, I was fucking next door, baby. That just <laughs> caught me off guard, you know. I said, well, hell, I'm already here, and she said, get the fuck up out of my bed. And I said, hell, I said, you know, I'm drunk. She said, you ain't drunk enough, I'm gonna bust you in the goddamn head, don't get out of my bed. 
So I get up out of her bed and I was telling my next door, you know. And hell, I thought she took my damn roosters. Man, I had some good ones, man. I had a pure gray and a leaper and I had trails and uh, two hands in a car, you know. And I had, and she took it shit personal, you know. And but she knows I ain't gonna beat too much because man, my woman found out about that. Man, and shit, I lost him in the roost fight. I don't know how to do truck stop. Somebody got them with truck stop, you know. And, and I don't know. Lot Ledge was hungry or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking, I don't know. But shit. You know what I'm saying? You like my damn for your house. I mean, I can't help it. I got in the wrong damn house when the keys work. And I don't know what's up. You know. But. Hell, I like her. I fight. And I'm gonna go again, cause I, mean, I ain't gonna back up here no more. Cause man, I went up there and the last time, man, they sent me around for the place. So these motherfuckers assholes. Don't you know, go putting your hands on my shit. Don't touch my shit. That's my shit. Uncle Danny's shit. If you put your hands on your shit, I put my hands on my shit. Don't fucking touch my shit. I don't play that shit. Uh, and, and, you know, cut a couple of my motherfucking bears, what they can try to do, you know. Breast, breast, breastplate, you know. Fuck that, man. Make, make me fucking shit. They know I have better birds. That's what it is. I don't go back here no more. Uh, fuck him, folks. You know. But either way. I'm gonna have to get with my damn cousin. I heard he's had a big old cop fight up at his place and then get with his ass. Alright, I just wanna tell you all that cause fuck roast fight is a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, it ought to be legal everywhere. Yeah, just go do what you gotta do when you gotta do what you gotta go do, you know. Or just say, let it race and bring what you got and hope you brought enough, you know. And so say, when you die, you die, you know. I'd say it was only playing around. I took my best with me, two birds, took it all home. You know, I ain't got a gun, all the fucking money, still got my $5,000 plus. I made about $7,000 off of it, you know. The side bet, you know, well, I probably made about three, three thousand off side bet. But anyway, I got my money back, made 7000 so anyway, I did good. But, alright. I just tell you, it's all in day's work, you know, around farm here, raising roosters and more than that. So, tell you, rawr!